we start with the cheers. This is the most convenient way to introduce that we're sitting here at a bar. Oh, why not just say, we are here sitting at a bar. Live from the Dark, Dark Hole, Hole Cantina. Cantina! Except not live because it's all being taped and uploaded. Oh, right. yes. So, The Magicians, episode, episode... Seven. Episode seven? Where's Quentin? I don't know. But here's the thing. If you can bring a fog in from a different timeline, you can why not just bring a Quentin in? From a different timeline. And then Alice has somebody to bone, and she doesn't have to bone this plant guy. Exactly. Alice don't want to bone no plant guy. And then Alice can also stop bringing Quentin five-year-olds back from yep. the dead. Because she can't bone a five-year-old. That's just weird. She can have Quentin 17. Yeah. Psycho Quentin. He oh, is, he's dead though. He's unreal in the bedroom. Oh, you know? Quentin 17, he will blow your mind. Hmm. Seems like Dean Fogg from Timeline 17 want to blow everybody's mind. Mm -hmm. It's... Hmm, so how would you feel about taking this school back to my timeline so that I can become father of the year? That was, that was pretty hilarious. It was like, what? So you killed everybody, but bringing this school back is going to mend all your relationships. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, why didn't, like, he wants to be father of the year. Why don't I just, like, take your daughter to timeline mm -hmm. this one? Yeah, bring... It Bring her to Timeline 40 or whatever they're on. I think it's Timeline 40. It, it just seems like it would make way more logical sense. Yep. It's like, hey. And like, they've made it sound like it's terrible in that world for magicians. Mm-hmm. Why not just bring bring your daughter to the better timeline? Yeah. Easy then you easy. can be father of the year. Yeah. But he needs some cinnamon to do that. I, I called that immediately. I was like, yep, that's that's a jar of cinnamon. I was right. It's called the old Swapsy Swapsies. The old switcheroo. Yeah. They were really swapsy snicky swoops. snicky. I, that's a word. I just, I coined it. Snickety sneaky. So, the Dark Lord, eh? Oh! We got Margo, we got Elliot, and we got them wanting what? to bone the Dark King. What about Finn? Oh yeah, there's Finn. How about washing a fairy's feet in milk? Oh, yes. Because apparently that's the only way to appease them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You gotta think. Like, Margot literally just tried to help. It's like, And she's mm -hmm. like literally even explained how she was helping them. And they're like, nope. That's not how it happened. My mama told me. Nope. So what you're saying is you would rather have the Dark King continue to kill you rather than... Me try to help you. Yep, wash my feet with milk. All right, I will wash your feet with not anymore. Throw it away. <laughs> I'm done with the this milk feet. I'm washing. tired of this. You know, washing no feet with no milk. Oh, and like she has like the girl card like nailed down. As soon as everybody ends up uh, showing off, and then she ends up sneaking yeah. on us. I was here the whole time. You just don't ever notice. Women, do you, Bix? I think that was the guy's bigot. name. Bigot. Bix. Bix the bigot. Big Bix. Billy it, Bix. It, it was like blatantly obvious. So like obviously this guy's doing some sort of betrayal. Like the whole time. It was just blatantly obvious, right? <laughs> it was the funniest betrayal too. Like Elliot just like goes and over that, the gold. This smells like, smells shit. like poop. Ah, oh, yes, poop. Beetles, oh, yeah, we can't say the S word. Boop. Beetles that poop gold. Yes. Ah, I'll use the Netflix bowl to Google in on him and watch him go into his secret chamber. Oh, here's all the beetle pooping gold. Mm hmm Gold pooping beetles. And what does the Dark King do? He takes a, the gold poop and he throws it on the ground and summons some... Happy birthday to the ground. Give me them takers. Yes. I threw it on the ground. So it... Must take around two pounds of gold to summon three takers. To summon one taker, because he had six pounds of gold. Oh, yes, you're right. So he's going to be able to summon a poop load of them now. <laughs> That's true. He's got beetles for days. Yeah. What did we miss? I don't know. I think Penny, that's everything in Penny, the whole episode. Penny and Julia Julia broke up. 
Penny and Julia. Broca. Todd. Oh yeah, Todd. Todd blew up. Todd blew up. From Timeline 17. Yeah, Timeline 17 Todd, aka Elliot. I just love how much they like poop on Todd. Mm hmm. It's like, so Todd, can you tell us what happened? No, no, no. God Skip all the boring Todd. stuff and just tell us what happened. Just answer the goddamn question, Todd. <laughs> Dean Fogg's like just sending him doing his errands. He blows up. Dean Fogg's like, oh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. It's just it's Todd. It's Todd. No one cares about Todd. No one cares about Todd. <laughs> He's like Kenny from South Park. On the next magicians, how will Todd die? Todd dies. Again. Well, uh, here's to Todd. Here's to Todd. May he rest in peace forever.